what can I say? I I would like to say I believe I'm a little bit special. I would like to repeat that right now. I am, at least for the level of Korean football, I am the special one. I am Mr. Spaceman, the special one. Hello world, I'm Mr. Spaceman. Welcome to another episode of Tigers of Asia with Jeju and South Korean national team, where today is the fourth episode and we're going to be doing it once again in the FA Cup, in the Korean FA Cup, you know, in case you think that maybe Jeju is in England. I don't know, maybe, you know, because when people say FA Cup, they always refer to the English one. But anyways, we know this is the Korean FA Cup because we're managing a Korean team. I don't know why I said that. Let's just jump into the episode. So what we did last time, remember, we beat Ulsan. So today we're going to be taking on Seoul Eland. We got a very favorable draw. If you take a look at the FA Cup draws, we could have gotten Pohang, we could have gotten Jeonbuk or Suwon. So we are lucky we got kind of a team of our level, maybe a bit weaker. That means we have a good chance of advancing. And a lot of this stuff will happen because of this guy. This guy is just insane. He does not want to stop scoring. Okay, I'll have you know, you know, in six appearances, he's now scored 21 goals. He's insane. I think he scored multiple hat-tricks. Let's just go to the schedule real quick. So this guy has scored another hat-trick in an Asan game. 3-1. He is actually insane. I know I did skip a game. Ansan Yojun An scored and it was a 1-1. It was a bit of a weird game, but we are still unbeaten, so that's nice. And he almost got a hat-trick against Sangju, but he decided, you know, enough is enough. Let me just score two goals. Man, this guy is just insane. He's on another level. I don't know how I managed to get him or how he's this good, but wow, we are quite good. So, in terms of transfers, what is happening? Because this is the transfer window still. In terms of outs, I'm trying to get rid of Kim oh If you remember, this is the 32-year-old guy who kind of occasionally plays on the right and the center. He is on a lot of wages. He's not particularly the best. And if you can if you compare him to this young guy that we have, Yoon Son In, who's 17 and has much more potential, there's not a huge difference. Maybe the vision, technicals, and attacking could be a bit better. But in terms of defending an aerial, he is better. And in physical as well. So that's something we could be using. And we could be using this guy a lot. I'm going to be trying to play him more now. Because I think he's deserved the chance. In terms of ins, we brought in two new players into the squad. Yu Jin An, I mentioned last episode. He's a bit of a pressing forward. I think we brought him from Suwon to Ulsan. And now we brought him here. He's already scored one goal. Good guy. Um, yeah, that's the guy in the score against Asan. Very, very good mentals. Hopefully I can improve his finishing. And then maybe I can steal him from uh, Ulsan. Who knows? But we did also did one more signing, and this guy is just a bit of a backup. For 5k, we signed Kim Jong-ho. A decent center back, good determination, you know, good positioning, good vision. He can pass the ball. He is going to be a right. And we do have a lack of players in defense. And I know I should not have probably tried to sell our center back. But again, he's on a lot of money. He's on huge amounts of money. Kim oh it's just not worth it. And it's not like he brings... I mean, he does have a little bit of leadership, but no determination to speak of. I think it's time for him to move on. But let's just jump into the squad and I'll show you what team we'll be bringing to you guys in a game against Seoul Eland. So due to some injuries and I guess internationals, we have lost two players. We lost two wingers. So first of all, we lost Danny Choi to an injury. Four to six weeks. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg and my arm. That's going to be really frustrating for me. And we also lost Kankul Jol to international stuff. He's going to be traveling to join North Korea. Awesome. So instead, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be playing Kim Song Jun and Jin Song Uk. Jin Song Uk has been doing okay for me. Hopefully he can kind of continue. He has chipped in with a few goals. And also we have lost um, Loenko actually to being tired. So there's a lot of games going through. So that's why it's good that we're going to have Yu Jun An playing as a pressing forward. And Lee Hyung Gyun is just come back from injury, so we're going to be using him as well. In terms of defense, here we go. Um, I did say I was going to play Yoon Sin In. I like him. He's doing good. And with a partnership with Kim Won Sik, I think they could do well. Maybe I'll actually consider not playing Lee Dong Su. I'm going to consider playing Lee Dong Su because the other guy's injured. Lee Kyu Hook, who was our young 21 year old wingback, who's not the best, but apparently he's rated a bit. Seoul wants him. His contract is expiring. He doesn't want to continue with us. I don't mind losing him. He's not the best. And in terms of other things to mention, uh, Park Chul is going to be on the bench. He's a 16-year-old winger. And 
Huan Teng Hyung, another player, a young player, and finally Park Dong Min. This guy, a lot of people want him. I'd rather not lose him. I think he's very, very good. I think maybe I could train him to be a decent, you know, defender, but he's marking. No, I actually changed my mind. He's going to be a winger for me. But right, let's just jump into it. I want to see how well we do against Seoul Eland. Let's just jump straight into the game. Let's go. Okay, let's start the match and we are ready. Oh boy, this is, this could be this could go both ways. We could potentially lose this because we are missing some key players for this team. And I mean, it depends. It depends if my players show up when they should. But let's see. Kim Osok, Lee Chan Dong, good into play in the middle. You know, we are quite solid. We are, we're, we're both solid and creative at the same time, which is very, very nice. It's a good combination. Lee Chang Dong, are they going to put a cross in? Lee Chang Dong, he does. Kim Song Jun, and that's offside. Yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say. Okay, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Why was there a foul? <laughs> Does offsides count as fouls? Why would they? I don't know, but the foul number came up. Huh, interesting. I guess I'll see in editing what happened there. Anyways, um, yeah, so we are going to be playing Yujin Un, who is not the best in terms of striker. He's decent in terms of, like, very decent in terms of running and mantles. But he does kind of remind me of a guy from, um, was it uh, FIFA, uh, FIFA, Full Manager 2020 with Work the Space, you know, when he signed. You know who I'm talking about. You, you probably do know. But yeah, it reminds me of him. He had no good finishing. He was just a very good pressing forward. And he's done well. But I think he was definitely on a different level to uh, Yu Junan. I mean, granted, that was in the Premier League and this is in the K-League too. But still, I think the logic is still the same. Jing sung -uk, we haven't seen much today. You know, 30 minutes have passed. Nothing happens. Ho Jo Wo, that's kind of a cool name. Kim Min Kyu, I think I recognize him. He played for us, didn't he? Right, good interception. Park Jin Sup, I love this guy. I signed him on a free, didn't I? And he's come to be quite important. Jung Sung Bit. Bloody hell. Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> this guy is actually a cheat. I'm sorry, I did not expect this. Park Jin Sup, as I was talking about how great Park Jin Sup is, I forgot how good Jung Sung Bin is. What? And you say that's a great assist. He just goes, oh yeah, I feel like scoring. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'll take a shot. Bam. What? Outside the box? I mean, to be fair, he has 15 finishing. Let's just watch it again. We don't normally watch highlights twice, do we? No, we don't. Jung Sun takes a shot. Bam! He doesn't care. He absolutely doesn't care. That's our first shot on target as well. We were not in this game until that shot. That's awesome. That is just That just shows how awesome he is. Which actually makes me worried if we do lose him because there's going to be a big bid somewhere, either from like a Saudi Arabia team or a big team in the league above us or... Hopefully, when we get promoted. At this rate, we're going to get promoted easy. But we're in the attack again. Jung Sung Bin is in lots of space. Park and Sup. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? Jung Sung Up. What was that? Did he try to cut it back? I think he did. That was peculiar. I would have shot that, but that was a weird cutback. And it's halftime. 1 0. Very okay stuff. Um, I am not happy because there's only literally one person that's done well for us. And you know his name. I mention his name every episode. So far, I mean, wow, like, I'm really happy that he cost me, what, 400k? And he pretty much guaranteed me promotion because scoring 24 goals in the season is definitely promotion level players. Although, to be fair, I've, there has been many times where, like, a player has scored a lot, but they still got relegated because no one else can play. So maybe that's the case. Who knows? But yeah, we are on a lot of yellows. Well, two in the midfield, which makes me kind of worried. But Kim Song Jun is on the ball. Is he going to put a nice cross in? He does. Jung Sung Bin. Plays it back. Park Jin Sup, King Song Jun. Beautiful football. Jung Song Bin. 25 goals, ladies and gentlemen. 25 goals. And I think this is time for me to make some subs. I don't like the fact that our midfield is a little bit um, kind of tired. We're going to actually give a debut to Kim Jong Ho. You know, remember this guy? We just signed him. So he's going to have his nice debut here. And maybe uh, Jung Song is tired. Let's get Park Dong Min a run out. You know, Let's get this kid some game time. Maybe, hopefully, he won't you know mess it up too bad for us because I don't want to do like with Ulsan, you know, when we were winning. And then I'm like, hey, how about I sub and out my center back? And then it brought down to 2-1. So nervy time. But we will find out now if my if my, if my my subs are a mistake. Ball over the top to Kim and Q stops it. Kim on the ball. Kim and Sok. Won Ji Hwan. They're playing quite in the middle. A lot of our players are afraid to commit. They are in yellows. I don't think the sub has gone through yet. Or maybe it has. No, I don't think it has. Na sang Kang yun Puts a cross in. yubun san clears it. Kim is on the ball. Uh, guys, we need to be careful. We need to be careful. I don't like this. This is way too long. And also, I like the Look at this. This is kind of cool. 
this is probably the longest highlight I've ever seen. I mean, granted, like, something will happen at this rate because this is such a long highlight. Put this away. Franca wins it. Uh, okay. All that excitement and uh, nothing happened. Yu Ju An. Be careful. You're on a yellow, buddy. And you are pressing forward. So, who hasn't actually done much? What a weird clearance. A guy with a name I will never be able to pronounce is on the ball. Nan Sang Un. Oh, that was a missed time tackle. Oh, he has got so much space to run into. Did we do enough? I think we did. What's going on? Can we try that again? Kang Yun Koo. Ooh, Park Jin Sub getting stuck in. Well done, buddy. But they have another chance. We do clear again. And now we have a counter. We have a counter. We have three against four, I think. Yeah, we took too long and um, we have the ball again. I'm very confused about what's going on. Like, this is the weirdest game I think I've, I've done. All the highlights are taking so long. I don't know if I'm on I'm not on extended, am I? Yong Junan. There we go. That's his second goal. Ignore the fact that it says six. He scored some goals for Ulsan as well. But nice. He finally got a goal. He hasn't been playing too well, but he has gotten a goal. And we are now in the next stage. We have a few times. I'm not going to show it. I'm sorry. I Sometimes I skip goals and I feel bad about it. But... Let's give Park Chul a run. So both these guys are getting his, are getting some game time. I think it's Park Chul's debut, if I'm not mistaken. He's definitely a debut for you guys. You haven't seen him. Let's see. Uh, no, he's played one game already for me. But again, debut in terms of match stuff. I wonder if I can make more subs. I cannot, sadly. I think in sometimes some places you can do five subs, but here you can't. Not now. Right. Well, not too bad, guys. Absolutely not too bad. 3-0. I mean, granted, we only had three shots on target and three goals. I think the keeper is going to be really annoyed. Yuljunan. What can I say? I I would like to say I believe I'm a little bit special. Uh, what I, I need to find the quote of what Mourinho said because I would like to repeat that right now. I am, at least for the level of Korean football, I am the special one. I am Mr. Spaceman, the special one. That's a very big name. But Mourinho isn't shorter. And look at that. 4-0 against Seoul Eland. Again, granted, we got quite, a, a, I guess, an easier team to play. But 4-0. And all the all the shots on target were goals. Jun Sung bin with a double again. This guy's always on the score sheet. And Yu Junan popping up. Makes me think that Loenko is going to be a little bit annoyed. Because he got a little bit tired. And he, there's someone else scoring a little bit of goals. And he's Korean. So there won't be... What's it called? The national quota that he's doing. But damn. Good stuff indeed. Absolutely amazing. Kim jong Ho makes his debut. Whew. I am really happy. Let's see who went... Did you... Do you see this? Gwangju just beat John Byuk. I, the dream is on because only Pohang, I think we'll see how Suwon does tomorrow, but there's not that many. Okay, so Pohang and Suwon are the two bigger teams and there's us in Guangzhou. If we get Guangzhou and Pohang and Suwon, we could have a chance of going into the final. Where's Guangzhou? I think Guangzhou is in K-League 1. Oh boy, they're ninth. That's not going to be good for them. Also, Ulsan is solo. Lol. Uh, yeah, that's kind of nice. Wow, we have won the quarterfinal, 4-0. Um, next time you'll see me would probably be, I wonder, let's just take a look, would be the two legs of the FA Cup. Again, we're going to be doing the FA Cup because I was hoping to do a bit more game time, but to be fair, we are playing quite well again in the K-League, and I think the Cup for us is going to be interesting. I know I showed a lot last year, but this time it's different. Oh my god, we're playing Suwon. Mm. To be fair, is bad because Suwon is second and Pohang is fifth. But they have a Luchenko. Bonk. So maybe we got lucky, but I don't know. But damn. Okay, I like how I was staring at this for quite a while, not really realizing that we're going to be playing Suwon once again. Wow. Suwon Big Bird Stadium. So I guess next time I see you is going to be this. But today was amazing. We beat Seoul Eland 4-0. What is this? So I'm going to see you like quite soon in two games. Huh. How about that? But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a like, comment, subscribe. You know, hey. I like doing this stuff and I hope you guys like it too. It's something that I think is kind of interesting. You know, I haven't seen many saves and I know I'm kind of, you know, like, ho, 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 I'm so cool. But like, I haven't seen many saves where people travel around the country, like building a nation in the manner of I'm doing that you're actually building the nation up, you know, bringing facilities up, bringing the clubs up, 
hopefully at least by the end of this maybe by the end of the year i can at least have you know three or four or maybe five clubs uh from k league to actually being k league one and like because i managed to rebuild them but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this we are going to be playing suwon in the fa cup semi-final i hope you guys enjoyed that i hope you will see me soon and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys